an area that I actually have heard about many times, and it was like it was like a hood, but. I've heard about it many times, but I'm not telling my mom. I was like, no, no, no. Every when she said where she was from, I had a ring that saying to my mom, like, yo, they're from Florida, they're from Florida. And then when she said it, it was like, damn, they from they from Florida. It was something city. Liberty City. Florida City. Liberty. Oh, they from Miami? Yeah, they from Florida. They from up the street. Florida or like they from Miami. The, the Pierce. The Florida big. So I mean, they from Miami. Miami. They're from Florida. Miami. They're from Florida. Oh. Florida, yeah. So Florida City, man, probably. Liberty City. Liberty City. Yeah. Or Liberty City, either one. Yeah. One of those, right? Florida That's City. Close. I know, I'm gonna remember though. It wasn't Liberty City. It, it was. was something city. You know, it was something. Panama City? No, Paris no. City. It was around here, some place that I heard about. It was some place that Sean told me about when we were talking um, one City. day. I was about to say Carroll City. Carol City? City? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's City. City. That was it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, Carroll City's Miami Gardens. Yeah. Right? Close, close, yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. need to get your out of there. They get well, back. I'm sorry. No, they get I back. apologize. Like, we're the now head in, head head look good, girl. We're now in but, you know. <laughs> anyway. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, your hair look good, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the people in the back today. <laughs> we got a whole lot of Hey, Matt, Matt. Oh, you working, huh? Why is he pulling the camera once today? Because I didn't want to kid you know, every time I get y'all off guard. Well, y'all want to get into a little a couple sports topics? Okay, don't mind. Well, first, I got to make an announcement. The dog was finally. Bro, made the doorbell, I guess, is here. Uh oh. We found that motherfucker. Hey! Dolphin. I don't know why I heard the doorbell. <laughs> I hear a dope, but yeah, I thought we had a guest. Anyway, uh, my the Dolphins, they have agreed to a two year deal, 11 million dollars. He's over here bullshit. He's over here bullshit. He said, How long is this? He said, Fuck you. Well, listen, last week when we had the guest up first. I still love you though, Larry, man. I guess, you know, put it this way when we get, uh, the, when we get any athlete in here, uh, we should just bring them up first. They just seem like more than divas, right? Hey, I'm divas. Well, I ain't going to say that. I wasn't going to say that. Not. I, just, I was going to say. You like athletes and divas? They, more than artists? Yeah, because. More than artists. Yes, you know why? Because. Nah, not more than Let me tell you why. Because athletes, one thing I was going to say about Larry. You no, see, one thing about athletes is. Oh, yeah, time, one time, but we always had a schedule. Because they had a schedule. Right. So, yeah. artists yeah. can just free that and come with them. Like, oh, 9 30? I didn't need to be there one early. Yeah, and, and, and he was on point, and he was like, these motherfuckers ain't ready. Like, right. No, so I get that. But that's not deep, that's being just. I was just saying, like, Cause we always had an itinerary for and like everything we did. Everything flows, and it was like damn. yeah, like you had an itinerary because and he might have other things after. But that's not like him to say not say things. Listen, say no. Larry, he did say something. He just, to me. Oh, but he say guy. I'm leaving. I got to. Oh leave. no, so nah, man, that's good. not like him though. No, that's, that's not, not like him. So somebody gonna make sure he hype. Yeah, I was about to say that. He's on the voicemail. Now I already checked. I went outside and made sure you know he wasn't outside. Was his car here? They never. They didn't see him, so there was no trace of Larry. As far as we yeah, concerned, he never even showed up. No, he was ready to lift on the truck. The cup. Oh, his cup was. Yeah, he left liquor over there. He so. left that. We not. Yeah, anybody left liquor? We not. 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 We and apparently, Colin Kaepernick has settled with the NFL for less. Well, let's ask some of the audience some questions, too, like about yeah. their opinions as well, because I always want to get them involved. Keep word in your sentence, apparent. Yeah, it don't mean it actually happened. That's true too. That's what, and that's what <laughs> well, I'm thinking about. Look, the NFL plays a dirty game. You know they leak the. They, they play a dirty game, but then it's like also. He probably has a non-disclosure, so he can right. speak against it. Right. Yeah. So it's like you can throw that out there and say, yeah, he took this. So you always have to look at things. You can't. I'm going to tell you this. I've been in locker rooms where they're saying this person is a, a cancer in the locker room and this, that, and the other. And we be like, man, like, what's going on in the locker room? Where there be no situations in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? So the media make up some shit Absolutely. and put it out there. And your ass won't go and believe it because you just a program to believe whatever the news says is news and it's real. But it's not always real. Some things are fabricated. And it's really to sell papers, sell, to make you tune in and all that. And it's not real. Their job is to make you tune in. Their job is to make you read their article. That's their job. So if they got to throw something in there to make the rest of the world and then the other three, 53 people in the locker room know, like, ain't nothing going on. We didn't, like, when I was playing, we didn't have social media like that, like, to say, like, what the hell y'all talking about? 
because we did it when we had to do it. But yeah. in certain instances, they just do that shit. Sometimes people don't even want to speak on it and just say, man, they lying or whatever. Like, you're not wasting energy going back and forth with the media because they have the constant, yeah. like, everybody's attention. But all that stuff don't be true. So you don't think there's any truth to, especially with the Wall Street Journal, a credible news? There's a lot of people that's credible, but they don't always get the accurate information. They don't exactly. always get the right information. That's like, true. they get the information that they think is for somebody. They're always getting information from somebody. You don't know who that somebody is that might have gave them a little bit, something a little bit wrong, a little funny. Yeah. Like, it's never coming from, like, the horse's mouth. I'm sure Roger Goodell ain't telling I'm sure he ain't telling well, You let's, know what I'm saying? Let's so there's a, it's a third party always somewhere. Let's keep it real. His girlfriend who's always very vocal about everything. When somebody says something, she's there to kind of, like, um... Nephew, what's up? You still yes. with the girl? Oh, yeah, yeah. And she's always there, ready to be like, this is little... not the case, nah. and that's not whatever. So I kind of feel like if it was more than that amount, she would have been like, listen, I know no. you can't speak. No, what you don't understand is, anything, is but... once you have a settlement, and then there's a whole non disclosure because once you settle for stuff, you can't get out here and just be he talking can't, about. But she's not going to say what it is. Because that's, that's, that's coming from him. Yeah. Like, she's not going to say what it is, but she's going to say, listen, she's, it's not that. That's what I would That's still said. jeopardizing yeah, his whole situation. Yeah. Like, Didn't so she cost like, him an opportunity with the Baltimore Ravens? Right. Let yeah, she did. Yeah, so it's like, did. just keep your mouth shut. Like, just, a lot of them. <laughs> we know what we got, and that's how they're probably looking at us. Look, we know what we got. They yeah. can say whatever, but yeah. we know what we settle for. We don't have to prove to nobody, like you know what I'm saying? We we stood our ground and we we made a settlement. Like why? Why? Why do we always feel like we gotta prove to somebody like yeah. we I got this? We don't have to prove. Million. The NFL probably released that little that little smidget just to put it out there because at first when it was when it first came out it was eighty to a hundred million. Yeah. And everybody was looking at it like, oh he won. Yeah. Yeah. So when they, they put it like out that. there, they threw a little, they threw a little gas out there that it was ten million. Now that everybody looking at, it, oh damn, Man, what you just asking the AL, the AL, and he can't even respond. Right. 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 And then probably, so you don't right. know what's true, honestly. Yeah, yeah, because I'm thinking, okay, this guy's got. So look for a happy medium from ten to hundred. No, I thought it was fifty or sixty million dollars. It could be. I thought it was enough. You know, I thought it was enough for him. So why when we heard eighty and hundred, it wasn't that. But now you heard this little story come out about it being ten. Right. Because you know why? He walked away from 14 million, didn't he? 16. So why you think he's gonna settle? So why you think he's gonna settle for 10? I don't know, that's what I'm asking y'all. If I walked know, away from 14 million, stuff. why would I settle for 10? But no, Tom's right. ain't bro, he still was making million dollar donations. He, he had a lot of people supporting him to give him. Yeah, he had a judgment, so Tom's ain't that damn rough. That's so true. if I walked away from 14 to 16, why I'm gonna settle for 10? That is dumb as hell. Yes. And then what if you did if you did your research though, the AFL, remember how they used to have the American Football League? Yeah, the arena. They, football they took the NFL to, to court and they oh. and the NFL dragged them out. Yeah. And never paid them. And then you got Tom Brady, dragged them out, never paid them, but he got paid. So you gotta say that he won, you can't say that he lost, because he got something and the NFL is known for taking you to court and making you. Because the NFL they home. had enough evidence against the NFL exactly. that the NFL was gonna lose that case. Exactly. And that's why they settled out of court and exactly. I don't believe it was for ten well, million dollars. Exactly. That's just to put that out there to make everybody say, damn, yeah. that's what it was. And now everybody looking at him right? crazy and yeah. all that stuff. And then it's not. I told y'all I had a whole uh, collusion case against the NFL as well. And in order for me to even play, I had to uh, dismiss my whole case against them for me. Yeah, my, when I first got drafted, uh, I had a oh, yeah, day second longest holdout in NFL history, yeah. and I ended up having a collusion case because it was two teams, Minnesota Vikings, Kansas City Chiefs, that were um you know talk to each other trying to get because at the time I was seven and um, Ryan Sims was number eight like, and Roy Williams, Roy right? Williams was number nine to the Dallas Cowboys. They finished Roy Williams. They, Dallas gave him a lot of money, and then mm -hmm. um, seven and eight. We still weren't signed, yeah. so we were like, well, shit, we need to get more than well, nine. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they were like, oh, they overpaid him. Yeah. I don't give it in. Yeah. You need to pay me one penny more than he got. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how it was. So, straight up. Yeah. They, shit, they kept my ass, so then they got, they signed Ryan Sims, and they left my ass out there like, what you finna do? And I, see here, shit. And shit, I sat there and then when, when I realized that they got Ryan Sims, it, it, that's a lot. When but it was always your dream. How did it feel to sit? Listen, I'm trying to go to the NFL. Like, I finally got a chance to go to the NFL, and I'm sitting out, not going there. So, first of all, even me going to Minnesota, that wasn't the best welcoming situation where you draft somebody, and then they're just like, they don't want to come to camp. I'm yeah. in training camp. Yeah. I missed the first eight games. Like, 
So that wasn't even like the no. I was a businessman. I was a business man. So there's no waiting on them. Because at the end of the day, you have to make sure you get your money. You know what I'm saying? Like you want me to perform? Okay, make sure you pay me. You know what I'm saying? That's not my fault that y'all they overpay that man because it's slotted. When you're in the top ten, it's slotted. Like you have to make more than the person behind you. At the end of the day, you're so, higher than number nine. So right, I mean, so yeah, you have to you have to just make that work. So when once they signed Ryan Sims, and it was just me by myself. They were like, he's going to fold. So now you have my coach having talking to players like, oh, call him, and they speaking out against me in the media. But then you have people like Jim Brown that come to me. They're like, mm, stand your ground. You know what I'm saying? And so people like Jim Brown is like, I wasn't even in the league yet, but he came to my aid and he was like telling me like. And he's a legend, like you know, that's somebody you look at this legend. He was like, You doing right? He said a lot of people don't have the best to do what you're doing, but do what yeah. you want. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it. My mom at a certain point was like, maybe we should fight it. Like, nobody at a certain point was like, You're not gonna get it, it's not gonna happen. And I just was like, this is gonna happen. And I said, like, if not, I'm gonna go and drive next year. I ain't care, like I'm gonna stay on my ground, like yeah. I feel like Libras are always fair. And I feel no, like just no, be fair no, with no, me. No, no, no. That's why we're scared. Like, you see the segue, right? I mean, no. But no, I'm saying just like be fair. Come on, like just be fair. Oh, yeah. you, had, you, had the, you had the veterans in the, in the media talking about like, he hasn't even played a down yet. He's worried about this. It don't yeah, matter. I am. Because I can go in there and get hurt tomorrow. And guess it what? It don't matter. So, right. So yeah. it doesn't matter. They don't matter. be worried about the shit when you get injured. No, they don't. They don't worry about none of that. And then, and then, and then, and to go from that, right, to so how I had to do all that and then I've, they end up having a collusion case against them, yeah. and then now you want to give me a little more than what I was even uh-huh. asking for because you realize I have a case against y'all. So in order for me to even sign my deal, I had to drop the case against y'all. Yeah. Which I did. That, that was the only way I could get signed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they didn't, they didn't give that man tell me. That man got whatever it was he was trying to ask for. That man got it. Like, yeah, and and like for, for them to settle, like how they had to settle with me and make, end up having to pay me is... They settled with that man for what it was he was trying to get and and sweep it under the rug. Yeah. Y'all never heard about my collusion case because guess what? It got swiped under the rug. Y'all yeah. never do that shit. Y'all just knew I was holding out. They never talked about that shit. They never talked about me suing him. They would just talk about, he's holding out, he's holding out. out. They tell y'all what the fuck they want to tell y'all. They don't tell y'all what's going on behind the scenes that's going to make them look bad. They don't have a whole case against them. Okay, he drunk. Okay. Ain't nobody drunk, but I, I, I'm passionate because I had to live that it's shit. It's serious because, you know what it is? As, as, a, as a black man in the black community, I didn't watch football. Like, I was riding with Colin. Like, I was serious about it. But I'm telling you from somebody that's on the inside who be knowing what the hell going on, yeah. shit don't always be what y'all get reported out. Yeah. yeah. So well, that's the difference. Right. So when you were trying to speak at 10 with the hell, the media said, the media's not always correct. Well, by the time you get to Colin that's Kaepernick's level, level Shouldn't he speak out and say something? About what? Oh, say he can't say nothing, not about the case. Y'all never heard me talk about that shit. Y'all never heard me do no interview about no collusion or nothing until like I was on TMZ sometime last year. Like, yeah. When they brought up the Colin Kaepernick thing. That was my first time. That was in 2002. Yeah. 2018, the first time we ever heard him talk about that shit. Yeah, so it puts Colin in a position where it's, right. it's over that game. They can't say nothing to you. No, it's nothing y'all can it's talk to me. It's like, all right, you gotta it is nothing y'all can say to me about it because that shit was never an applause for me either where I couldn't talk about it. Because it's true. Because we could look that up. It was it was definitely a case. Like Eric Reed, you know, he got a, he got a decent, when he went back, he got a decent deal from, from Carolina. And folks were saying, oh, they overpaid him as well. Colin could have got the same thing, but he turned it down. I think it was the fact that Colin turned. They say Colin turned down several. But they, we don't know who they is. We don't know who our person they? they are. Who's like, they? It's just always like we don't know who he turned down. We got to ask Colin if he turned it down. Like, we Colin's don't know. Colin's not talking right now. Colin's in Hawaii. And he probably don't need to. <laughs> Colin's in Hawaii spending all that ten million, or eight million dollars. Right. He's got eleven. Or eighty. Or eighty. We don't know. Meanwhile, y'all talking about football and contracts and and deals and settlements. And as you're talking about this, all I can think about. Toward the end was this rumor that I heard with Ciara filing the paperwork to change Little Future's name oh, to Russell Wilson Jr. Now the thing oh, about God. this is, Wait, am I crazy for believing this shit though? Because she seems like y'all, everybody looks at Ciara like this. And I'm telling you, there's something about Ciara. I, I believe that shit. I believe that. I've seen it. I've seen it. Can't do that without Future signing the uh, unless he didn't sign the birth certificate. She can't do anything without Future signing off. She lost the court case. I don't believe that. She's saying. 
That's what I'm saying. I don't believe her. I'm telling you, there's something about Ciara that don't sit. I just don't, don't feel like I don't. If she even thought that, that, that shit, shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. Don't be disrespectful. Like just yo. That's that man's son. Larry. Your ex is changing. Your son's name to Blank Junior. That shit ain't never happening. Ain't that's never happening. That's disrespectful. Right? Like, don't, don't yeah, do that. Shit ain't happening. Yeah, that's that shit ain't happening. I knew I, I'm yeah. the right person to have one of them. But it would take both parents to do that, right? Yeah, no, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Only if, like you said, that's only I mean. if he didn't sign, like if he nah. signed the birth certificate and he's on there, whatever. But she could also make a case for him not being in the light, like she's the primary. Hell parent. Nah. We don't know what her but what her nice. her structure is for. Her um the 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 parent the parental rights. Well, she lost we don't her know. Case. She lost what? She lost her case against future. She could have lost her case against future, but what is her structure of parental rights? Like, is she the primary parent with all last say, like well, final decision making? As a man, though, how can man, like, as a man. How is she? Does she have final decision making? Night, knowing that another man's child is named Russell Wilson Jr. when he knows damn what well man want to be in his. But what if he has another baby with Sierra? Why, why would you name your own baby Russell with? Like, you know, exactly. what's that? Yeah, sure. If he had no, another, yeah, another boy. Another boy. Like, why would you do that? I know, but I believe. I'm just saying, am I crazy for believing this? I do. I agree with, like, him in the back. Like, I do think that that shit is true. I kind of believe that shit because she's done some real suspect shit to make me believe that she's that girl. Now, I'm, I'm going to agree with you on the I would not put it past her. That's what I'm saying. Because she's a changed woman from what she once was in the past. That's what I think. That's too. the only reason why I wouldn't put it past her. I don't think she's a changed woman. Well, I, think she, I, I think she is. I think the, no, no. I think the image that we thought of her you, is, you has changed. Okay, I don't okay. think she's changed. I think she's the same motherfucker. Like, we just, the image of what right. we perceive her to be may have changed. But I think she is who she's always been. Right. Me, me. Check this. Check this. this. This is what I'm saying. At the end of the day, Sierra was on some I'm, I'm, I'm really about whatever. And then nothing changed to a woman of God. So now she is switching all her persona of what she was and what she is now. So that's why I said I wouldn't put it past her. I agree. She is, she is, a, she is, I feel like she's changed because she's, 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 she's been playing. baptized or she whatever and she can't be a woman of God. So that's why I'm saying like, oh, she she's like oh I, I'm a, I'm a different I'm a changed person so that's why I said I'm gonna put it past her but at the same time well I said it because of the different things that we had took like, that you even said earlier that like she lost her kid like little things like the lies the fact that you do shit like I've been through a crazy situation and I ain't never lied about shit like that's one thing I always say like I ain't never had a lie like I don't want to because you're gonna always say once you've proven to be a liar in court. You a motherfucking liar. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Right. saying? Right. So the fact that she even right. would do that, it's like, damn, B. I'm like, you're supposed to know better. Like, you already have the cards in your favor. Like, why even do all of this to lie and do whatever? Now that makes me look at her different. And that's why I said I kind of believe this bullshit that the story that they're saying. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. But honestly, I'm going to keep it real. A lot of these bloggers, because those records are public. When right. somebody files any petition, those are public records. Mm -hmm. So I've had people call me about the UIs. I've had people call me about things that happened to me. And I'm like, damn, bitch, how you even know about Like, why are you calling me? But the fact that it's Sierra, they're going to know immediately. So I don't think that that's a rumor. I think, I really do think that that shit is true. Yeah, and, and I, I think she's fucked up for that shit. Like, yeah, yeah I, she, agree. I think I that's agree. fucked she up. Is, she is because I don't care how much you don't like the dude. Like, that's right. crazy. And the reason why I say she it's possible that she's done it because she put all these blogs out about how exactly how future ain't this and ain't shit that. exactly. And she is has found her number one man. So now that she's found that person that she loves dearly and can't nobody do no wrong, future's wrong no. and Russell's Yo, right. Speaking of what you just said, the fact that she even had this boy calling him daddy and papa, or whatever the fuck she yeah. keeps calling him, and we see future with his son. I knew she ain't she a different kind of bitch. Right. Like you can say and what I you agree. want about me, but that ain't not gonna that's not gonna happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's not the way you do stuff. At that's, all. That's, so not way, that's not the way it goes. That around. that's when I was like, exactly what you said. That's when I was like, yo, I'm watching the way she moves and she don't move right. Like that's and to crazy. me I just feel like this just goes back to if they have another kid and it's a boy, like why would you name Yeah. You know. That too. The other child. Oh, shit.
I need some more Trump. Shit, I got a little one. We'll be back in a minute, all right? Yeah. Our last segment. Yeah.